How are you feeling? I'm very nervous. I have to go talk to one of the most famous bioethicists in the history of bioethics, Zeke Emanuel. Turn right onto 27th Street Northwest, then turn right onto... He's probably the most famous person I've ever talked to. He has a controversial view on the end of his own life. Turn right onto Rock Creek and Potomac Parkway Northwest. As a fan of his work, I'd hate to see that happen. Uh, here comes an ambulance. It's making me tear up just thinking about him not calling an ambulance when he's choking on a fish stick. I need to see if I can talk him out of it. <clears throat> um, so I'm here today with uh, Dr. Ezekiel Emanuel. He has recently written an article for our magazine, Why I Hope to Die at 75. I didn't choose the headline. I don't like the headline. I don't think it summarizes my article, actually. Writers rarely do like the headline. That's right. I know from experience. Uh, and so do I. I don't actually want to kill myself at 75. I don't actually believe in legalizing euthanasia or assisted suicide. So this isn't about how to, you know, take your life. It's about how to live your life. The point of the article is to look at what happens when you become physically disabled, the sort of inevitable slowing down of our mental powers, the rise, substantial rise of dementia as we get older, the loss of creativity. We shouldn't try to live longer. We should, you know, stop going to the doctor, stop taking medicines and treatments and interventions where the reason for them is it'll make you live longer. I think the chemotherapy, DNR, no electrical shocks, very relatable. We get to the antibiotics. I don't want you to get an ingrown toenail. And die of an infection. Like it's 1700. Uh, I will take care of my toes. I mean, I've told my kids that, you know, if God forbid I have a lurking aneurysm in my head and it bursts, don't scream a lot of big tears for me. I've had a fantastic life. I don't want them to have memories of me as sort of frail, forgetful, constantly saying, what did you say? What did you say? What yeah. do you want to be remembered for passing as a result of an ingrown toenail? Irrelevant. Irrelevant. We, we need you to continue we doing the need, good work we, we, we that you're need, doing we. to improve our healthcare system. If I could convince you to push it back to 77 even. Yeah, no. 76? No. September 7th, you know, 2032. That's it. We brought you some things just to try to convince you, maybe to rethink this. This is um, something that you could do well into your 90s, <laughs> which is go s skydiving. Do you know how dangerous skydiving is? I, I feel like it's pretty safe. All you're doing is jumping out of a plane. And what about these kittens? I hate cats. I hate them as well. Okay. I used to like them, but now no, I hate no. them. Tour the, the world's great art museums. This is a famous painting by Vincent van Gogh. You he lived a very say. happy life. He, he didn't live a happy life, let's be serious. And then there's Indiana. Have you been to Indiana? Surely. This is the state capital. I'm from Indiana. Oh, you are. If you decide to do that, you know, we, right, could, right. we could just call you. Hang out in Indiana. Right. You maybe save that for later. These are the things that give life meaning. You have to be more persuasive. Yeah. What can we do to be more persuasive? Trying to cure it. Alzheimer's, that would be a really big thing. That might, that might truly make me rethink. That, that, would, that would be amazing. It would be amazing. My concern was th th when I read this was I felt like I am not contributing enough. All we do is make videos. And I, it inspired me to really want to do something more. Oh. I've but succeeded then. I don't know what that is. is. It, it, well, it succeeded in sending me into an existential crisis. I, I, that's exactly what I wanted. I stated my view because I thought people ought to examine their lives. What am I doing here? Why am I living? What is it all about? Because you changed my life, that's all it does. Yes. One person is good enough. One really important one. Absolutely. Very important. But do you think you were successful in your convincing? No, he wasn't successful, but I was successful. <sighs> but. You did say that you were going to push the date back to 80. No, I didn't. We could bet a dinner if you'd like. All right, if it's 75, 2032. If, you're right. If I change my mind, I'll take you out to dinner. If I don't change my mind, you'll be rich by then. You can take me out to dinner. We'll go to Per Se in New York. Is that a deal? I don't even know what that is. <laughs>
you obviously don't have enough money and you don't take a serious interest in food. <clears throat> This video is brought to you by Aetna. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have questions about health in your body, please email us and always talk to strangers. Great job.